Weed harvest is always an exciting time of year to be out in the field watching the combines working their way back and forth across the field. And in this big tractor power video, I wanted to take a look at how the harvest has changed over the past 40 years, taking a look at a model year 2018 John Deere S780 combine and a model year 1978 John Deere 6600 combine. Both of these machines were the second largest harvester offered by John Deere in that model year and let's take a look at their specifications and technology. The 2018 John Deere S780 combine is the second largest model in the S700 series. Its horsepower is 473. It has an 824 cubic inch engine. It has a 400 bushel grain tank. It holds 330 gallons of diesel fuel and has a price tag of 489000 $437 with all the standard factory options in that machine. Now we can take a look at the model year 1978 John Deere 6600, the second largest combine in the new generation series of combines. Its horsepower is 120. It has a 404 cubic inch engine. Its grain tank holds 112 bushels of grain. With extensions added, it holds 147 bushels. Its fuel tank is 57 gallons holding diesel fuel, and its price tag was $31,826. So there's been a lot of changes in the size, the capacity, and the price of these combines over the past 40 years. Not only have the specifications of the John Deere combines changed over the past 40 years, but also their function. The new John Deere S780 is all computer controlled. It's like using an iPad to control this big harvester all push button, the combine is self-adjusting as it harvests the crop. There are even cameras that allow the farmer to see how the wheat is moving through the combine and the quality of that crop. With the older John Deere 6600, it's all manually controlled through levers. Every adjustment is controlled by a lever or a button in the combine. If you want to check the quality of the wheat, you have to step outside and look at how it's flowing into the grain bin. When you look at the new machines, they're on auto guidance. They're controlled by satellites in space. The old machines, you have to steer with your hand and control every lever in function of that combine manually. The big new combines use 40 foot wide draper heads. They use sickles and rubber belts to collect the wheat while traveling at almost five miles per hour across the field, gathering up the wheat at a high capacity and a high speed and bringing it in to be threshed. When you take a look at the size of this header, it's moving along at a very good clip. The older combine moves at about 1.5 miles per hour across the field with a 16 foot header using an auger and sickles to collect it and it's just a much slower process when you're harvesting the wheat. That's a big change in the capacity of these machines. Also the way they spread straw. The new machine uses hydraulics and different features to spread the wheat out over 40 feet wide behind the combine so there's absolutely no straw left on the surface of the field. The older combine uses belts to control the chopper and while the straw is being chopped up there's still a lot of straw visibly left on the surface of the field after it's been threshed and processed in the combine. Now that we know a little bit more about the combine specifications and features, let's take a moment to see and hear what these combines look like and sound like out in the field.
hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with a brand new model year 2018 John Deere S780 combine and the classic 1978 John Deere 6600 combine. It's always exciting to see how these machines work. I enjoy getting to see the biggest, newest machines at work in the field. They're very impressive and they can do a lot of work in the day. But it's also exciting to go back in time and find the classics at work like the John Deere 6600 combine. They're disappearing from the landscape very quickly and I want to make sure to preserve some of their history and allow people to actually see the way they would have worked back when they were brand new. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action out in the field. As always, thank you for watching.